What formation will Arsenal play next season? How many new signings will Ateta and Edu make? How many of the current players will still be here come the start of the new season? How much money will Kroenke spend and will we get the business done early? Will Aubameyang and Lacazette both be here next season? And if one leaves, who will replace them? Will Balogun be given a chance next season? What happens to these three? Joe, Eddie and Rhys, will they still be here next season? A lot of questions asked. A lot of questions being asked by Arsenal fans. We are asking all of them questions and all of them need answers. Asking all them questions. Asking all them questions. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and in this video we'll be taking a look at how Arsenal could line up for the 2021-2022 season. Now of course there are players I won't include here, the players who've already left, the likes of David Luiz, Odegaard and Sabas, all of them are already gone. Even Matt Ryan is not an Arsenal player currently. The ones we expect to leave, the likes of Granit Xhaka and William. Bellerin as well, not going to include them, and the players who are out on loan and will not return, the likes of Mavro Panos, Gwenduzi and Kolasinac, and of course Lucas Torreira, all of them are nearing moves so won't include them here. And unfortunately as well, I know I had him in the, th in the thumbnail, Bisuma, I don't think Saliba and Bisuma will be here next season, I just have a feeling that with us um, being targeted with, uh, with center backs and left backs, I don't think Saliba will be here next season. And uh, Bisuma, always every single season, you remember the days of Benzema, the likes of um, Higuain, we always get linked to a player for the entire season. It took us uh, two years to get party finally. We always get li linked to the likes of Mvia for the entire season, two, three seasons, but we never actually end up getting them. We end up getting players with We've never heard about the likes of Olivier Giroud, the likes of Gabriel, players we didn't expect to join. So I have a feeling like this season will be the same. We'll end up getting someone else in midfield, maybe two players. Most of them we don't know about and it will be all over. Again, uh, the players we want not joining. Hopefully the ones who end up joining are good enough. And uh, of course, holding an El Nene, I'll just put them on the bench. But um, there's also concern about them not sure if they'll be here next season. So without wasting any more time, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe. And let's get straight into the lineup. In goal, I think we'll definitely still have Leno there. Now, Onana has been linked to Arsenal, but I think that could only be as a backup for the next one year. Maybe the season after, Leno could leave and Onana could be the permanent goalkeeper. But with Onana going to the African Cup and he has a ban in no until November, I can't really see him um, being signed to be the main goalkeeper. And uh, who else will really replace Leno? Ramsdale will be linked to Ramsdale, but I don't think he'll come to... To Arsenal as a main goalkeeper as well so I think that is an easy one Leno I think is a good shot stopper yes he needs to improve on his footwork and all that and uh, if he stays he has a lot to do he needs to create um, a relationship with the defenders who will be here and create some trust with the fans that's what he needs to do so Leno and go and then um, let's go into a back four I don't know which kind of formation we'll have is it a 4-2-3-1 is it a 4-3-3 is it a 3-4-2-1 but I think we'll play a back four and let's start with left back. That's an easy one. Karen Tenney, absolutely. Probably one of our best players last season. For me, he was up there with um, Saka and Lacazette for being the best players last season. He really helped us in some crucial games like um, against Benfica and uh, the leadership in him, the quality in taking on players. We really don't have anyone else in the team who can do that. So Tenney is a very easy one. And then for the center backs, Gabriel is included, of course. Great debut season. Um, he had a first good three months, and then obviously in November, December, he kind of tailed off. But he kind of picked it up. One of the main reasons we beat the likes of United and Chelsea away, or the main, one of the main reasons we ended up our and ended our castes in those stadiums. I think he was solid. Uh, of course, there's someone else in midfield who was also solid, and I just achieved that. So Gabriel, I think, remains. Now the question is, who will partner Gabriel next season? Of course, Luis has left. As I said in the intro, Saliba, I don't think he'll be here next season. Or if he is, maybe on the bench. Holding, will he still be here? If he is, I think he will be on the bench. Pablo Mari, will he have two left-footed players? I don't know, not sure. So, I think Ben White being signed, um, we are close to signing him, I'd say, between 40 and 50 million pounds. If he get it done, I think he'll be the partner for Gabriel. And also, 
I think White could cover for us at right back for a few games. Now he's played as a wing back and as a right back, left back for his previous teams. And I think maybe there's a, there's a thought of getting these players who can play different positions in the team for next season and White is one of them. And I, that's why, that's another reason I think Chambers will remain at Arsenal as well. So Ben White being a partner to Gabriel, that would be good. And then at right back, I don't think we'll sign a right back now. I think we'll sort out the other position. If we sign a right back, I'll be very happy. I think Bellerin will go, but I think someone like Cedric will be given a chance. And if he gets injured, we move to Ben White at right back. That's what I think. Maybe not the... Not, not the best approach, but I think that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to have um, Cedric on the right side. Of course, we're not in any other European competition. So that's just for the league. Um, that's, the, that's just the league uh, lineup. So that's the back four and the goalkeeper. That leaves the following defenders on the bench. Pablo Mari, Rob Holding, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, if you want to include him as a defender. And Chambers, of course. So those are the four defenders we're leaving on the bench. And Ranason, just for now, I have a star next to his name because I think we'll actually sign a backup goalkeeper, a cheaper one, and I don't think Ranason will be here, maybe going out on loan. So that's the defenders. Next up is the midfield. Starting up with the easy one, and that's Thomas Party. Mixed campaign last season, but I think this is going to be a good, good season for him. But he needs a partner next to him. Yes, he can do the job for you in terms of pushing the ball forward. And um, a, go a few good passes obviously needs to improve on things like a sh shot and stuff. But he needs a good partner. Now, the ideal one is um, the likes of Ruben Neves and Bistuma. But I don't think we'll sign Ruben Neves and still sign Madison in the same team. And I don't think we'll sign um, Bistuma for the reasons I said in the earlier and also because he will be going to the African Cup. Like if they all go to the African Cup, Aubameyang, Pepe, Pate, Bisuma, Onana, we'll probably not have any players remaining. And if Elneny stays as well, we'll probably not have any players remaining. So Pate will be next to Lokonga. Um, Lokonga, um, I don't know, I think he could be going to the African Cup as well, but I'm not sure. I think we're going for Lokonga because it's cheaper than Bisuma and I think he'll be the partner to party. At first I thought maybe Lokonga will be on the bench but it really depends. This is a position we are very short of course like Sabas leaving, Jaka leaving, we're not sure whether the likes of Joe Willock will be here so it's going to be very interesting to see how they deal with the midfield. How many players will they get? Will they give the younger players a chance? So I'm going to put Pati in Lokonga. I'll do a couple of videos on Lokonga. I think it's, it'll be a fast signing this summer. And yeah, if he does, let's hope it works out for him. And then on the left side, I'm going to have Pepe there. Um, Pepe had a very good end to the season. The start of the season wasn't the best. Okay, the first three games was good, but um, in the middle of the season, there's a time I was really giving up on him. But he ended the season on a high, and I hope this is the season he gets a lot of um, stats and gets a lot of goal contributions, assists, um, shots, corners, and all that. I hope he improves in all of them. Of course, in January, he's also leaving for the African Cup. And then on the right, obviously, Bukayo Saka. What a season last season. He literally saved us. Otherwise, if it was not for him, it would have been like 15th on the table until the end of the season. What a player. He's been picked. The, he's, he's gone with England to the Euros. Um, probably not going to play a lot. So he's still going to be fresh for the start of the season. So let's hope he delivers. And then the number 10, I'm going to have James Madison there. What a signing it will be if we get it done. 50 million for James Madison, the set pieces. We always have so many corners with the likes of Pepe William taking it, and they're never good corners. So having James Madison on those on free kicks, creating chances, you can only imagine. The way Vardy gets in behind for Leicester when Madison is playing, very, very good. With Obama having that space as well and Pepe and Saka from the wing, you can only imagine what Madison can do. So please, Arsenal, get it done. So I have Madison as the number 10. And then the midfielders on the bench, Smith Rowe, of course. I'm hoping for another good season next. I wouldn't mind if he starts a few games as well. I'll have Joe Willock. I think he might actually end up remaining. Of course, Martinelli, if to cover the left side, he'll also be on the bench. Um, I've put a star on my Mohamed El Neni and Ruiz Nelson, not sure if they'll be here next season. So that's the midfield. Finally, up front, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Now, obviously, last season a lot of people thought he had a disastrous campaign, myself included, but I didn't really think it was that terrible. It was an okay season. Obviously, didn't reach our expectations, but he still had close to 20 goal involvements in terms of strikes and assists. But obviously, with that new contract, 300,000 plus a week, we did expect much, much more from him. And I'm hoping this season he does return. 
that leaves the likes of Lacazette and Balogun on the bench. For me, if we didn't get a striker, I wouldn't be that mad. I don't think uh, striking has ever been our problem. Yes, last season we struggled to create chances. Lacazette and Aubameyang did miss a couple of chances, but that didn't make them bad strikers overnight. So I'm hoping um, they do... Uh, come back next season and, and play really well now for me ideally i'd play the both of them up front but obviously that would be really hard to fit everyone in if you're playing two strikers you'd probably even have to change the formation so that will be very interesting to see what happens on the bench we have like 11 12 players obviously that has to drop down to like nine players i've said obviously so many times it's so obvious right i said it again anyway so which three players which four players from that bench would you still try to get rid of as you can see we still lack a backup goalkeeper as you can see we still lack a backup left back there as you can see we still lack another midfielder there so a lot of changes still to be made will we get a right back will we not so few questions for you guys let me know in the comment section which formation would you play next season would you play a back three or a back four 4-3-3 or 4-3-2-1 which players from that team would you get rid of which players would you try to sign and how many players would you sign this summer those are the questions as you can see obama can deputize as a backup um, goalkeeper if needed but we don't really want to be caught in that situation do we so yeah Saliba or Bisuma, let me know all those questions. Let me know how you feel about that lineup. As of now, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys later.